SC500 came in with some hardware. This hardware for what appears to be broken support uh, for the rev. That's the FC500. Yeah, rev model. Okay, so got a squeegee tool that's filthy and worn blades. I like how they mark the water level, that's good. Um, it is showing put on charge, but we're under 24 volts. We're at 21.75 and there are, there is no moisture in these cells. These battery cells are dry. So this has been sitting for some time. Um, so I want to try to test the charger. Okay, if you notice, you can hear the charger fans operating and we're ramping up in voltage. So um, I want to wait for a few minutes just to get enough to operate the vac motor and jack screw and uh, possibly the uh, pad driver. If we can, we may or may not be able to, because it's dying for, but um, may need batteries anyways, based on the date code and what happens here. Uh, yeah, dry, dry. So these are not maintenance free batteries. I would suggest maintenance-free batteries, but uh, you may want to ask Sandy to see if you can fit that. They're going to be at least 50% more expensive, but they pay for themselves easily in the first year. So, charger's doing okay, but we don't have anything inside the cells here to help things out. So, I'm going to put some uh, distilled water in just to get things going a little bit faster. Okay, all that's needed are the rev support arms for the SC500. Uh, there is some, uh, you gotta kind of pay attention in the parts manual when ordering these, so it's confusing to get just a regular rev disc confused with a rev model. So we'll get those added to the quote.